Hello guys, welcome to Mongolomp here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Minimator. Minimator is an app that lets you animate any Minecraft stuff. So we're going to basically start by just going into our downloads and opening it up. I have a Mac, and that's currently a different video to how to set up Minimator on a Mac, as it is quite confusing. So we're going to go and we're going to look for Minimator, if I can find it, and there it is as you see. Um, it will be in your downloads, and um, all you need to do is click on minimator.exe um, and just ignore this part as I had to do some stuff to get on Mac. So um, we'll close that and we'll just try and open it up. There we go. So, okay. so we will uh, load and we'll just uh, take a few uh, minutes. As you can see, loading there. And yeah, so that should be fine. So basically, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Minimator, and as you see, your nice interface pops up here on how to use Minimator. Um, so basically, we'll start, and as you can see, you start with this platform of grass. Um, now we can change the platform um, and all this stuff. So if I have a look here, we can change the camera angles, we can change the backgrounds. Um, so basically, in the first interface, you're gonna see the backgrounds here, um, and as you can see, I can make it nighttime, and daytime, as you see by there, and I can uh, change the terrain. Um, so let's say I would like the terrain to be um, stone, I can do that, but I'll keep it to grass for now. Um, is there a far facing grass? Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'll keep it to grass. Now we're gonna add a new property. We're gonna add a character to start with, so that's very simple to do. Um, as you can see here, I have the basic Steve character, um, and basically what I can do is I can um, go back to my Steve, and um, I can change a lot of things. First of all, we're going to name him, uh, we're going to name him Michael Well, It's very important to name your characters, as when you have a lot of things over here in your project library, it can get quite confusing, so we're going to name him Michael Well. Okay, so now I'm going to go and we're going to change his skin. Um, now we can browse the skins from the skin folder within the Minimator file. Um, and as you can see here, I can just go into skins. And as you can see, I uploaded a skin right here, which is currently my skin. And you can upload skins, and that's very simple, but of course that's another video. This is just a simple, quick video on how to do stuff. Now, of course, we can change, if we go back to the default skin, we can change it to different things. So if I want a zombie Pikman, it will change it to a zombie Pikman. If I want an iron golem, it will change it to an iron golem. And I can basically do all things like that. Um, so yeah, so there we go, we'll stick to the human and I'll change it back to the Mongolob skin. Okay, so there we go, we've got the basic person. Um, so now we can do a few things. We want our sets to look nice, because as you see here, it's just a little bit of uh, uh, just a grass. So we're going to uh, go up here and we're going we're gonna to add what we call a scenery. Um, and when you go there, you can add scenery, and you want to go to Skinematic, which is right here. And we're going to load a Skinematic. Now, obviously, you need to go into the Skinematics file, um, which is very, very simple to do. Uh, and once we get into the Skinematics file, we can... Uh, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold here. Um, we can have a look around. And let's say I'd like um, a wooden building. So it will upload the wooden building into the um, the Minimator, and as you see here it's a bit buggy, but it's on top of my Steve guy. Um, so I'm going to move this building around, but we'll show you how to do that as well. But first of all, I'm going to just name my scenery Wooden Building. Okay, so now we've named both of our sceneries, and we can move stuff around, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And now, it's very simple to see that on the timeline here, you have Muggle Wump and Wooden Building. Um, now, we can hide the Muggle Wump, and mine the Wooden Building, and we can do stuff like that. But now, for now, how to get up properties of the Wooden Building, we just need to click the Wooden Building here. And as you see, this new interface up here comes up. Basically, now we can change a few things, but obviously we're not going to be animating the house. So first of all, we need to go to position. And as you see here, the position is not the best. So I can move it around very slightly, but if I just grab it here, I can push it back. But I really want to move it to the side, so there we go. And I want to move it to the side. 
Um, I also want to move it down a bit, but not so it sinks just about there. So we'll leave it there. Um, I also want to rotate the building, so I'm pretty much just going to go here. And I'm going to rotate it. I can rotate it that way. Obviously, we don't want to do that. I can rotate it that way. Obviously, we don't want to do that either. Whoops. This is the tricky part. Obviously, I want to rotate it this way, so I want to rotate it facing me. And there we go. Very, very, very nicely. Um, so then I've got a water building. Um, it's a little bit... buggy. Um, maybe just try and sort this out. Can't get white to zero. <sighs> uh, for some reason it won't do that. So I'm just gonna quickly just delete this here. And I'm just gonna spawn in another wooden house. Because this doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do. Um, but basically you get the idea. So I'll just do this really, really quickly. Ah, uh, there we go. Sorry about my cold. I've spawned in a different wooden building, but it doesn't matter. Um, this is a wooden house. Um, but I'll change it to a wooden house. And there we go. As you see that, um, very, very nicely. So I'm just gonna do the same that I did with the other one. Um, which is click here and I'm basically going to just move it out like that. I'm gonna go to rotate and I'm gonna rotate it that way. There we go, nice and simple there. Um so basically what I can do now is as you see they've got these keyframes, which you call keyframes. Um and basically that's quite a, a simple thing. That will come to later for when we're animating the, the scene. But obviously, we don't want to animate the house for now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna, we're gonna leave the keyframe options there. And now we have a nice a nice house. Um. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add something else. I'm gonna add a block item, and we can do this very simply. Um. And all I want to do is I want to add. We've got a nice range of items here. And it's gonna show me what they're gonna look like and where I place them. So if I add a diamond sword, it's gonna add him right there next to my digital one. So what I can do now is I can reposition this diamond sword. If I go over here, I can reposition it, push it up. I can even have my guy holding it if I really wanted him to. There we go, and there we go. So as you see now, my guy is holding the diamond sword. Um, but so I'm gonna rename this item diamond sword, of course, because it's always good to name items so you don't get confused. And there we go. So now we've got our scene here. Um, that's quite a nice scene. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to animate now, how to animate the people in the scene. Um, but we can basically, if we wanted to, uh, I'll show you, uh, let's say we want to find a creeper in our house. So we also need to, this is the basic part, this is just adding the, the stuff in. There's our guy, but we want to be looking at the, we don't want to be looking at the guy. We want to be looking at the house. We want the house. No, I want to be focused on the wooden house. I want to go into the wooden house, um, but that doesn't seem to be possible, but it's fine. Because this is the center and we're facing everything around our center. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the guy, I'm going to put a creeper right outside the house. Um, so with that, all we need to do is we need to exit the keyframe property, exit those keyframe properties, and we need to go right here. And we need to add, uh, we're going to add a character. Um, but this time we're going to add uh, not a human, we're going to add a creeper. And as you can see here, there's my creeper. And uh, I can just click on the creeper, or I can go down here, see where it says character 2, and I can move my creeper how I want to, but of course I'm going to move it. 
a little bit that way. No, that's rotating it. Um, no, we're rotating to one hundred positions. Um, so we need to move up that way. I'm gonna move it a little bit forward, and then we're gonna move it that way. And we're also going to have it so that it faces the guy a little bit. So all we need to now go to is rotation. And we're gonna rotate it that way a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start animating our scene. Now obviously two characters animating at a time is quite hard. So we're going to focus on one character and we're going to focus on the creeper over there because it's a holy night. So basically um, I'm going to show you how to animate. Um, and it's basically very short, it's by keyframes. Um, so basically it's like taking a snapshot, taking loads of snapshots currently. Uh, and it's really really simple. So uh, what we need to do is we need to click on the creeper and we need to adjust, make sure we rename this. Um, and of course I can upload other creeper skins, uh, if I just press them in the file, very nicely, over here, and the MyMator file, if I just place them in the skins file, as you see we've got all our skins over here, and I can place different skins when I want to do different animations. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get the creeper, and then I'm going to focus on the creeper. And what I'm going to do is we can move just its head, we want to. So if you see here, we can uh, we want to go to rotation. Rotation is the one they want to go to. And we can rotate his head that way. We can rotate his head that way. We can also rotate his head that way and that way. Um, but obviously, we want the creeper to be walking near the guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off this animation very simply, just by um, getting our creeper here. And as you can see, his head's moving ever so slightly over there. But I don't want to start with these keyframes, so if I just right click on the keyframes and I can delete them like that, I'm going to delete the keyframes all in the creeper. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the start. And let's say, whoops, that kind of deleted the creeper, don't do that. You can just undo by that, it's very, very simple. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start the movie, but I'm basically going to start first of all. Um, I can move his foot like that, um, but also I can move him while we're in here. So basically I'm going to move him very slow, so slightly, um, to get closer to the person. If I can find where he is. That's his thing, we need to do all buddy. Um, and now buddy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him a little bit, and then I'm going to just click here. That's created a keyframe. I'm going to move him another little bit, and I'm going to click there. That's created another keyframe. We move him again, and I'm going to click. And that's created another keyframe. I'm going to move him again, and I'm going to click. It's created another keyframe. I'm going to move him again, and I'm going to click. I'm going to click, sorry. It's created another keyframe. I'm going to move again. And so you get the idea, and if we just play it back, You see the creeper moving there. So obviously now we can delete this one. As you can see, we can delete that one so that he stays there when we finish the animation. Uh, basically, this is a very, very simple animation way, and we can do loads of things like this. Um, so that's very simple, and we can obviously hide things. So if I wanted to hide myself, I can do that, or I can re um, visualize myself. And of course I can do all the options up here, which is save and edit. So basically you have loads of fun with this and it really takes playing around with. Um, also, one last thing, I'll try and move the camera. Um, and I can move the camera nice round there. So I wanted to get a camera shot from over here, or from over there, I can basically do so. So now when I watch back the tape, it will watch from a different angle. Okay, so that's basically the basics of um, animating on Minimator. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like, and I have loads of Minimator animations coming up soon on my channel. Um, also, loads of other cool animations and loads of other animation tutorials as well. So please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.
mine at night I know you're looking at that cave And you're feeling kind of brave Go to bed, you'll be alright Don't mind at night There's nothing that is gonna change If you just wait until the day Zombies wanna eat your brains Don't mind at night I know it's me you're gonna think Make a bed, it's not too late Three wall and three wooden planks Don't mind at night How many times I have to say Drop the pick and walk away 